Michael Jackson's career began in Gary, Indiana, under the strict supervision of his father Joe, the family patriarch who formed a musical group around five of his sons. But from the start, Michael stood out among the Jackson Five with his polished vocals and dance moves. By age 11, he was performing with his brothers on TV variety shows, including Ed Sullivan. I Want You Back was the first of a string of number one hits for the group. Despite the attention of adoring fans, Jackson would look back on his childhood as one of loneliness and isolation. And he wrote in an autobiography about harsh treatment he said he suffered at the hands of his father. Jackson didn't become a megastar until he set out on his own. His solo album, Off the Wall, went platinum in 1979, but that was just a taste of things to come. In the 1980s, his popularity skyrocketed with the release of Thriller, which became one of the biggest selling albums of all time. It produced a succession of hit singles, including Beat It, Billie Jean, and the title track. The colossal success of that album and the follow-up, Bad, transformed Jackson into one of the most famous people on the planet. He waved at me and he said, hello, I can't believe it! He waved at me! His close friend Elizabeth Taylor dubbed him the King of Pop, a title few would dispute. If this king had a castle, it was undoubtedly the sprawling property he bought for himself in rural California. He called it Neverland, a name borrowed from the Peter Pan story with which he closely identified. Much like Peter Pan, his world seemed to revolve around children. He formed a foundation benefiting kids and spoke earnestly on their behalf. We must all never forget that the children are our future. And without them, mankind would become extinct. But in 1993, the image of Jackson as benign protector of children would be called into question when a 13-year-old boy accused him of molestation. Jackson denied the allegations, but did pay him unspecified millions in an out-of-court settlement. The publicity damaged his music career. But if his records didn't sell as well, that didn't keep him out of the headlines. His apparent penchant for plastic surgery reshaped his face and raised eyebrows among the public. A brief marriage to Elvis Presley's daughter Lisa Marie was followed by a three-year marriage to Debbie Rowe who bore him two children. Then in 2002 Jackson caused an uproar by dangling his third child from a hotel balcony in Berlin. Other public appearances did nothing to quiet talk of his eccentricities. And then, in 2003, a TV documentary aired in which Jackson talked openly of spending the night in his bedroom with children who were not his own. The most loving thing to do is to share your bed with someone. A boy shown mm -hmm. in the documentary holding hands with Jackson would accuse him of molestation, allegations the singer denied. Jackson was found not guilty of the charges in a criminal trial held in Santa Maria, California in June of 2005.